a what it do trap and salute to all the trappers. Uh, my question for you today is, uh, what are your thoughts on exercise and option contracts? I'm kind of torn between uh, exercising the run of my contracts or keeping the profits in my option portfolio and also taking out a small percentage from my two other portfolios, which is the dividends and my buy and hold. But uh, the option in question is the AVGO 138 play. Thank you. All right. So for me, so first of all, shout out my guy, Malik. Not that Malik. Plus, we know he's not in jail. Uh, so when it comes to me exercising contracts, um, I think I've only did it like a couple times. Um, the goal for me is never to really exercise because when you exercise, you have to then buy those contracts, not with the money that you thought was profit. Right, so if you the money that you thought was profit, that's not what you exercise on. You got to come out of your pocket and buy those, but you're buying them at the price that you agreed to, that they agreed to. So I'm never truly a fan of exercising the mic. I mean, the, mic. the profit. I'm looking at the thing. Somebody said, "Turn off the mic. Uh, turn on his mic." Um, I'm never a fan of exercising. I'm like the 99, the 96% of people where I just want the money. So, but if you feel like that's what you want to do, then you can. But remember that money that you see profit, that ain't the money you exercising with. You got to go come out of pocket to exercise that. So, shout out to Malik, man. Good question, brother. Let's go, man. Next up. Man, what's good, Trap? This is Jaron down here in the Atlas, Maryland. Man, Jose, thank you for taking my question. Also, Trap, man, I appreciate everything. Man, everything you taught me, all the game you put out to the community every day, I appreciate that. Um, but my question for the day is, I just want to know, I've been toying with this for a minute, so I really want to know, so this is a buy-hold question. So, in the buy and hold, if you're up, if you're up and you in profit, and it's a long term hold, what is your what is your thoughts on averaging in? Because you kind of don't want to eat away your profits. So, what's your thoughts and what's your approach when it comes to adding and still buying in a position that you're holding for a long term? Thank you, Trap. <laughs> You know, I'm always recalibrating the price at which I got something in because the value always changes. That's why it's always important to understand the value of the businesses that you're buying. So, like, for instance, I bought CrowdStrike at $57, but I wound up buying it again when it was like $180 or something like that. And the reason why is because the value on it changed and then the market gave me a sale on it. Right. So what you want to keep doing is like at least once a year, you want to be reevaluating the companies that you buy because you want to understand if this company goes on sale, what is a great price for me to buy this company at? But also you want to understand what's your load the boat price. That's why that's something I always put in the Patreon. I put in there, this is my load the boat price. And the reason why I put the load the boat price in is because if the stock gets to this price, I'm going all the way in. Right. So it's OK that you may up your um, cost basis if you still bind it at a discount, right? Think about it. Inflation, right? Uh, something that was 25 cents when we was kids now it costs maybe 99 cents now. You know what I'm saying? But if you get it on sale for 75 cents, it's a sale. So if you are reevaluating the company every least once a year so you can understand where that value is, when that company goes on sale, you buy it again for sure. Great question, King. <laughs> Yo, yo, what was that? What's up, man? I appreciate y'all for taking my question. So, it was a reference to something that you mentioned a few episodes ago about uh, paying off your prayer with that million dollar plea. You know, I was just wondering if you still was planning on doing that, man. Uh, shout out to you again on that, bro, man. Congratulations, man. I hope your trip was, was, was well worth it. Uh, thank you again for taking my question, man. Shout out to all the travelers, Salute. 
Hey, you better stop. That foreman gonna get your ass. <laughs> I knew I you. Played, I played his audio. Mm-hmm. Nah. So I wound up. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't uh, pay. I didn't cash out. I'm still sitting in it. It's probably at about seven hundred and some thousand right now. I did. I got it up to one point two. You know what I'm saying? I got it up to one point two. You hear me? I should have took a little out of the table, but I was in my mind. I said. I just want to get through July and then I'll scale back on it. So I didn't. It's probably at like 700 and something right now. Um, I'm, my goal, no matter where it's at, by the end of the month, I'm going to scale back on it regardless. Um, but I didn't. But it felt good knowing that I hit it. You know what I'm saying? I hit 1.2 in that joker. You got to think about it. I put 400,000 in that play and, hit, and it turned to 1.2. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's profit. The play was worth 1.6. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I'm uh So I told myself whatever is at by the end of July, I'm gonna cash out on it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Um but I definitely wanted to get at least back to 1.1, 1.2, and I'll, I'll split it down, you feel me? So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good feeling, too, bro. That's a good feeling, man. So, let's go, man. Another question. On episode one-on-one, you was talking about how you want to take different people from the Patreon and, like, put them on game about real estate, laundry mats, et cetera. And I'm I'm kind of young, but I didn't know like if it was an age limit or if you was even serious. I know you probably catered to like the older people, but I was just wondering like the younger people with the six figures could they kind of like just get in the room and pick up on the game and the knowledge and all that other good stuff, bro. I appreciate the answers. Hey, he said, bro, I know the episode. Family got straight to it though. <laughs> Family got straight to it. He was like, "What up, trap?" He was like, "Yeah, episode one on one, dog." You know, you was talking about, uh, yeah, 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 them laundry mats and that. I need that. Straight up. I need me. Trap. <laughs> nah, straight. <laughs> that's, a, that's a first there. My dog ain't say, what up, Trap? I appreciate you. He was like, nah, Trap, look, the young, I got the six figures. You feel me? I done hit the six figures. You know, the laundry mat. Yep. The real estate. Yep. The age bracket. What we doing? You probably was joking, but I'm serious. If you was Joe, don't let you know I ain't playing. I got the six and I'm driving. I'm coming to you. Put me on. I need it. <laughs> nah, for sure. Nope. There's not no uh there's no age limit, man. Uh there's definitely no age limit on it. Because I don't think there's an age limit to wealth. 